Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be the introduction to our March 2024 bingo card adventures. I am so excited for this month. Last month, the focus was solely on not spending money. And this month, the focus is still on not spending a whole lot of money. We might, we could spend a little bit of money, but not much. But I want to put the focus on getting out of the house. The past couple of months, we did date nights at home. We also did self-care nights at home. This month, I want to get my butt out of the house. So we've got some new things on here that is going to get me out of the house. Some things I've been wanting to do that I have been putting off. Let's see if we can fill, fill up this bingo card. I'm so incredibly excited for this month. And I do want to say, I also have a channel membership. It is right next to the subscribe button. It'll say join and you can click that button and it'll show you all of the different tiers. So come join me over there if you are interested. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this March 2024 bingo adventures and let's see if I actually follow through with getting myself out of the house and completing and see how many how many of these boxes we can fill up. It is March 1st and we are starting this month off strong with one of the hard things on my bingo card and that is going to an event where there's people. <sighs> And I'm going to a hip hop step class. I'm nervous as hell, but we are starting this month off strong with one of the hard ones. So I will let you guys know how it goes. I'll try to get some footage while I'm there. But let's go do this thing. <laughs> And then we'll get to my favorite card class is Calvary. Let's see. Okay, so my very first event for my March bingo was an event where there's people and there was a lot of people here. It was so much fun. I'm getting out of my comfort zone little by little by little, but I will meet you back home and I will be able to put a star on our very first square for the very first day of this month. Okay, we got our first bingo. That was so much fun. I am so proud of myself for going because that was so out of my comfort zone, but I had a good time. So our very first bingo square for the month. March 2nd, I am on my way to a yoga class. So I will see you guys there and when I get back. took a yoga class. I substituted my dress up solo night because I told you guys really focusing on trying to get and uh, not trying on getting out of the house this month. So I took a yoga class and it was amazing. I am going to be sore in the morning though. That was a hard class, but I'm so glad that I did it. March 4th and today I'm going to take a walk at a park. So let's go do this. went for a walk at a park. March 6th and I have read a book. This was so good. Rita McFadden is definitely becoming my favorite author. Do not disturb. I could not put this book down. So good. Read a book. It is March 8th, 1111 and I am on my way to go volunteer. I'm actually volunteering multiple times this month because on Sunday, I'm gonna go volunteer with the babies on Sunday for church, but I'm not really gonna include that. I just wanted to tell you guys, like I'm doing lots of volunteering and I love it. I absolutely love it. So we are on our way to go volunteer. I am done. Here is my name tag. I also got a meal. Give that to my kiddos. And I'm gonna put a star in the volunteered slot. 
March 9th and I just took a dance class. I will show you guys what I learned when I get back home because I was too shy to film in there. I am back, I've got my flowers in my hair. Did you know that if you are taken, you put your flowers in your left hair and if you are single, you put your flowers in your right hair. That way when you're dancing, these spectators out there that are men, be like, hey. Anyways, uh, it was a lot of fun. This is the song that we did. Girl. One of these days, I'm gonna be bold enough to actually film it so y'all can see me while I'm there. But if I had the song, I would be okay. <laughs> Apparently, I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. But that's okay, because I will figure it out. So, March 9th, took a dance class. And I'm so excited that I'm taking these classes too, because I'm learning a lot. And I'm learning a different style of dance. And it's so much fun. March 10th and today I'm going 24 hours, no social media. And I'm pretty much just gonna be doing basically everything that I did the last two months, which is meal planning, doing my membership, one of my membership classes, reading, playing my fashion show game. So I will see you guys tomorrow to let you know if I made it for 24 hours. I made it 24 hours, no social media. I wish I could say it was easier, and I'm constantly saying I'm not on social media a lot, but I realized yesterday, Jill, you are on social media a lot more than you think you are. Yeah, apparently I'm on social media a lot more than I think that I am, but I made it and it's still something that I wanna keep doing every, at least once a month. And let me know in the comments down below if I have inspired you to try to go a full 24 hours without social media by doing these bingo cards. March 12th and I am paying off a credit card. I am going through the process right now. I owe $175.33 and I am going to pay that entire amount on today, which is March 12th. So next, I can't show y'all any of this stuff because like it has all of my personal information, but I'm making a payment. Y'all are just gonna have to trust me because I'm not about to show this on camera. Um, and if you don't, I don't care because this is more for me than it is for anyone else. I mean, other than to inspire you guys to also take control of your finances and find financial freedom because that's what I'm searching for this year. And that's why this has been on my bingo card every single month so far. And it's going to be on next month as well because I want, I am focusing this year on paying down my debt. So I just paid off a credit card. That feels so freaking good. Colored for one hour at a coffee shop. March 17th, and I went to church twice. So we're gonna go ahead. So that's what our bingo card is looking like. March 17th, and I have this green notebook out, which could only mean one thing. If you watched last month's bingo card, you know what this means. This means today I'm going 24 hours, no phone whatsoever. I'm on my way to church. I'm actually just gonna leave it here. I'm not even bringing it with me. I'm leaving it here. And I'm bringing my little notebook with me with a pen so I can note anytime I wanted to use my phone, but then also note any notes that I may think like, oh, I forgot to put this or, oh, I need to put this or, oh, don't forget to do this tomorrow when I do have access to my phone. Oh girl, I did it. Not as bad as last month at all. I think last month it was, I thought about my phone or I thought about picking it up like 40 something times, 15 times, which wasn't bad. 
no phone for 24 hours unless kids text and they were gone yesterday too so i did i did have to do a lot of texting on my watch but i put my phone up i even went to church i left it here didn't even bring it with me so we almost have a bingo i just need to compliment someone and i would have had a bingo if i wasn't all afraid yesterday but i was afraid and so i didn't compliment someone but it's okay we'll get it hopefully That was absolutely amazing. So, solo date out, no spending money. March 22nd, <laughs> month is almost over and we finally got our first bingo. I posted on TikTok 25 times. Bingo. I don't know y'all. I don't know if we're gonna fill this one up this month. What do y'all think? We still got a lot to do and not a whole lot of month left to do it. We will see. March 25th, I have worked out 25 times. This is my Apple Watch workout tracker. So this is the whole month of March and the little green line is workouts. So there you go. Let's mark it off the bingo card. We still do not have a bingo yet, but that's where we're at right now. March 27th and we are going to somewhere new. And again, the budget is very, very, very tight. So the place that I chose to go to this month that I've never been before is, are you guys ready? Dun, 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 dun. Poverty's Furniture. Let's do this. This bed is really cool. I have to sleep with a nightlight, and so this would be my nightlight. That's really cool. And look at that little couch right there. I love that. And then this mirror right here. Gorge. The month is almost over, and y'all, we still don't have a bingo. <laughs> but went somewhere I've never been before. I'm telling y'all, I gotta get creative. But I did it, so. Hopefully we can get a bingo soon. Okay, I lied. I forgot we got a bingo right here, but uh, we, we have a lot of things left to do in just a few days. So not a whole lot of month left. Let's see if we can get it all done. March 27th and we are gonna go donate some clothes. So let's go. So we don't have a whole, a whole bunch this month, but this is what I was able to clear out of my closet. So let's go donate this bag to the woman's shelter. Mm -hmm. 
That always makes me feel so good. I wish I had more for them this month, but that's all we got. Donated clothes. March 28th, and I am about to go live on TikTok. This month, I'm not so nervous. I'm actually really excited because I enjoyed it so much last month that I'm actually looking forward to it this month. So I'm hoping that I see a lot of you guys there, but you can see my phone right here. It's on this tripod. I'm gonna go ahead and press here. I'm going live. I hope to see you guys there. That was amazing. It was so amazing. So Melissa, I'm gonna follow you back. Jenna, you were on my last live. Thank you. You are a top viewer. Uh, Angie, and I remember we talked. I'm following you back. Highest watch time. Live, laugh, love, always 18. So thank you. Jenna Marie, thank you. Um, An Angian, thank you. April Jean, Beep2140, Natural Vibes. Cody Quinn, that MN girl. Girl, we need to talk. We need to talk about, yeah, about that procedure. I'm going to research that. Who dis 5150 and Jennifer. And I didn't know, but Cody Quinn sent me three coins. So thank you so much for that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we, we don't have, we, we are not still having a bingo yet, but that's okay. Went live on TikTok. That was a lot of fun. March 28th, and we are going to do the most dreaded thing that I put on this bingo card. <sighs> which is going and cleaning my fridge and freezer. Let me show y'all what it looks like before and then I will show you the after. Let's let's go do this. I, I don't I don't want to do this. But that's why we got our bingo card. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, the shelves definitely need to be wiped off. Gross, disgusting. Yuck. Yuck yuck yuck. Yuck. Um, the drawers might be okay, but I'm still going to take everything out of the drawers and rinse them out. Of course, that needs to be wiped off. I know some of these shelves, like, right there. So, yeah, we got a lot, a lot to do. And then in here, just got some yuckiness going right there. Sorry, the shadow. Um, this isn't too, too bad. I think I really just need to pull all this stuff out and then just do a really quick wipe wipe down. It should be okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. These shells, I don't think look that bad either. I'm gonna do the same thing, just wipe them down and then uh, wipe some of that off. But yeah, this is what we are looking like. You guys ready for this? It looks so good. We got all the stuff up. It's nice and organized. Wait till you see the fridge. You ready? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so clean and it feels so good. Here's the side doors, shelves. So let's go mark that off. This was the most dreaded task and now it feels so good that it's done. I earned that bingo girl. <laughs> Cleaned my fridge and freezer. Ta-da, bingo. It's Friday, March 1st. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Monday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. March 29th, I thoroughly enjoyed this way more than I thought I would and I wanna get back into this habit. So I put on makeup Monday through Friday every week this month. And hold on, there we go. And I got myself another bingo. on a picnic which is right here I've changed it several times 
but here you can see what on a picnic. So what a glorious picnic that was. Here is what our bingo car looks like. We got two days left of this month. Red for one hour at Starbucks. I didn't think I was gonna get this one done, but here we go. And I headed on over to Target and da 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 da. I complimented someone. I complimented the girl at self checkout and told her that she had beautiful eyebrows. So ta da! I really no joke. I didn't think I was going to fill that one out for real. But here's another bingo. So we are on our last few days. March 31st and I got in 5.5 steps every day except Sunday. So we got another bingo and another bingo. Yeah. We have one left. Do y'all think I'm gonna do it? Do you think I did it? Let me know in the comments down below. It is April 1st and I have officially gone another 31 days, no binging, no emotional eating. I have officially gone 91 days. This bingo, like, like all the other months, is the one that I am absolutely most proud of. As you can see, I have finished my whole entire video card. I have cleared the board. This is month three and every single month I have filled out the entire bingo card. So yay. Me. So that is going to do it for my March bingo card video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here, share this video. If you made it to the end of this video, comment two butterfly emojis down in the comment section. And here is a little sneak peek of April's bingo card. So if you guys want in, we changed some things up. So yeah, if you guys haven't made a bingo card yet, what are you waiting for? I really do love this whole idea of these bingo cards and they're just so much fun and I have thoroughly been enjoying them. And I cannot wait to see, cause I am keeping all of my bingo cards and I just cannot wait to see what what my year is going to look like at the end of the year a but also all the things i'm going to accomplish by the end of the year but then also just to be able to go back and look at each month and i don't know i'm just so incredibly proud of myself this is something that has truly been life-changing for me and pushing me out of my comfort zone something that if you guys watch my vlogs you may have heard me do this and this wasn't even on my bingo card but it's pushing me out of my comfort zone to do other things that are not on my bingo card. I literally asked a guy out. It was on email, it was via email, and I didn't hear back from him. But the whole point is, I do not think that if I was not doing these bingo cards, I would not have done that. And that was so huge out of my comfort zone to email someone and to ask him out for coffee. Like, what? I would not have done that if I wasn't doing this bingo card. So it's more than just these bingo cards that I'm doing. It's putting me, I'm putting myself out there even more and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone even if it's not on my bingo card. And that has been really, really, really cool to see. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.